and he was also making plans that you know when the dog returns he is making a promise that he's not going to tie the dog you know behind the madhouse anymore he is going to give his dog freedom because he wants his dog to be happy because he couldn't point out something or one thing that made the dog run away because he thought the dog ran away young men always you know deal with these kind of things in their heads he was blaming himself and Mapoko was there to comfort him and she was telling him that he shouldn't worry much he should go and play and the dog will come back time after time he will keep on coming and asking Mapoko if she saw his dog Mapoko was giving him the same answer don't worry go and play your dog will come back and I'll let you know when your dog is back The dog didn't come back that day. And Mutsamai told Mapuko that maybe the dog went back to where Isaac found it. Maybe the dog was missing other puppies and he decided to go back home. So they should go to that house and search for his dog. Mapuko told Mozamai that I agree with you. It's a good idea. We should go and check it there. But we can't go tonight. Simply because of what if your dog will come back here and your dog will find out that we are not here. Your dog might go forever and not come back. Let's leave tonight. And if your dog didn't come back tonight, so tomorrow morning we are going to go to that house. And look for your dog because you don't want to go and leave the house empty and your dog will come back and find out that you are not here and the dog might go back where it was that was a good reason the young man was like saying it makes sense let's wait for the dog to come back Mutsamai didn't know that Mapogo didn't want to go to that house at night but she had to say something that makes sense so that the young man will understand that, you know what? I must just wait for my dog to come home. They slept early in the morning. Mozamai woke up, went back to the mud house, behind the mud house to check the dog, and the dog was nowhere to be found. He decided to go and wake Mapogo up. And he told Mapoko that the dog is not there. You promise that we will go to that house and we must go. Of course, Mapoko was like saying we have to eat first before we go because we will have to walk. And the young man was prepared to walk. It was a long, you know, walk from there to, to that house. But they did walk simply because of Mozamai wanted to find his dog. When they arrived there, the family members were so happy to see Mozamai. He has grown. But what they like a lot about him is the love for his dog, how he really loves his dog. You know, the courage to walk that distance simply because of he wants to find his dog. He's dedicated. And when he was there, he didn't want to talk to people. He wanted to find his dog. And they told him that that was the last time they saw the dog when Isaac was there. They never see, you know, that dog again. The dog never came back home. Mozambique's home was, you know, his dog's home. The dog didn't know any other place beside Mozambique's home. You know, its home was behind the mud house. And the dog has a best friend. The best friend was Mozama. When I think about the story of Mozama and the dog, it's emotional. It's a great story. I will write a book about it for kids. Children's book. And I will go deep in details for 
you know, them so that I can just put that story out there for them. Now, Mutsama was disappointed because, you know, he didn't find his dog. Of course, the elders, they thought maybe the dog went to see other dogs. The dog will come back. And that's when Mutsamai felt lost because he didn't know that Mapoko was also dealing with her own problems. Isaac was no longer coming home. She felt like she was just left with, you know, Mutsamai in that house. Mutsamai, of course, was distracted or the dog was keeping Mutsamai company. Mutsamai saw everything as normal because he was happy with the dog. But now the dog is not there and Mutsamai is heartbroken. And it really hurts Mapoko to see Mutsamai that way. She really loved him. And deep in her heart, she knew that maybe something bad happened to the dog. Because someone was there. But because of the young man couldn't see that, you know, somebody was there. She was just praying that the dog, you know, will come home. Or whoever took the dog can return the dog. And to bring the news to the young man that, you know, your dog is gone. You know, I think you're not going to see your dog again. That was going to be heartbreaking. She spoke with the family members about her decision that she's been thinking about moving back to her mother's house. At another village called Kromhuk. Great village. It's a village where his parents come from. It's also a village where Isaac's parents, you know, stay. The two decided to go to another village to start a new life. But things were not going their way because Isaac decided to be in the city of gold and not come back home to look after Mapoko and his son, Mutsamai. The mud house was a death trap. When it's raining, you can never be sure. It can fall any time. Mapugo was always thinking about her safety and also, you know, the safety of Mutsama. And she took a big decision to move back to her mother's house. And she told Mutsamai that we are going to your grandmother. And Mutsamai didn't know that they were moving permanently. He thought they were going there for some couple of days and they will come back simply because of, she told him that by the time they came back, you know, the dog will be there already. Don't even stress about your dog, your dog will be back. Mutsamai was excited to see the grandmother. He didn't know that there was a fight between his mother and his grandmother simply because of his grandmother didn't support the decision of Mapoko moving from the village to another village to start a new life with Isaac. Mutamai was a young man. He didn't know that he was just excited. <laughs> 